So, to continue on, I will show you the vitamins that I've been taking. Um, and I don't take them every day. Um, sometimes I'm more consistent with it than others. Um, but I try to take them, you know, pretty consistently. But what I'm taking right now is this, um, the daily vitamin. Complete multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement. Uh, 400 IU has vitamin D3 in it, but it has 100% of a lot of stuff in it, such as vitamin C, D, E, uh, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, B12, pantothenic acid, iron, iodine, 115% manganese, and and some other things. Um, I just wrote it, read to you the ones that say 100%. But I've um, taken that, and also my sister gave me this biotin, um, which I was told is supposed to be good for your hair. It's actually 1,667% of the daily value of um, biotin that you need, and so I'm taking this. Um, and it may have supported my hair growth. I can't say for sure, yes or no, but um, it, it's a possibility that it has been helping me in my hair growth because I was taking it before um, and I might have mentioned it in a past video um, that I was taking it and you know I have seen hair growth and hopefully part of it is attributed to the fact that I have been taking some biotin thanks to my sister um, also what I did and what I should probably make more of a habit of doing is made a smoothie okay so what I did was take some I bought this bag of um, frozen mixed berries, so you take that and you take some milk, um, or you can use some half and half if you like, um, and also I put, well the first time you use pears with it, like canned pears, um, and fresh is better than canned or frozen, um, sometimes some things are better with frozen, but if you can get fresh, fresh is good. Um, but I took a can of pears the first time and just poured everything, including the syrup, which had sugar, so if you want to avoid some of the sugar, dump the syrup out. Um, I don't, it was probably syrup, probably not just juice, but either way, you can, um, avoid some of that sugar if you don't use the syrup with it. I also put, um, the first time I put kefir in, the second time I put a strawberry yogurt in, and I like that creamy taste. And now the first time I didn't do this. I, I didn't put in what I put in the second time, which is almond flour, rice flour, and soy flour, um, because from the soy flour, at least, that adds protein. Uh, rice flour, hopefully, is adding some amino acids. I don't know with it being dry, but rice um, provides with amino acids. Um, and then, hopefully, with the almond flour, I got something, some added protein, but if not, almond has other health benefits. Um, and so just doing something that's more um, along those lines is doing what's more natural and adding, you know, some protein to your diet while refreshing yourself in a hot day or, you know, doing something like that. Um, and the thing with soy flour, which I don't know, but I've heard that soy is bad for you, so that's something you might want to be aware of. You can find another source of protein. Like, I don't know how much protein oatmeal has in it, but perhaps if oatmeal has a good amount of protein, you can substitute oatmeal for the soy flour and blend that up. Um, I don't know how well it blends. You would have to try to do that yourself. And also, I, I put some ice cubes. Um, they're not really cubes, but, you know, from our ice maker in the refrigerator, threw those in there. Got yourself your homemade Jamba Juice right there. And you save... <laughs> but Jamba Juice has some good stuff too. Um, but anyways, I was like, I bought these these flowers and stuff, and I was like, well, you know, because I wanted to, I like protein tasting things, like the plate drinks, um, or like the Ensure kind of stuff, but sometimes it's kind of, it's pretty costly. So I was like, one day, um, I decided to, to get some things like that. And it might cost a lot for the, like, I got the bag of almond flour, it was like $9 and something, it's like, in a bag about that size. It has the man on it with the beard, I don't remember what exactly 
the brand name is right now, but it looks kind of old fashioned. You can probably find it in Walmart and um, different places like that. But, um, you know, just find different ways to add some fruit to your diet, add some protein to your diet. Um, you know, and it takes care of your hair as well as, you know, when you're adding fruit, you're taking care of your body too. Um, if you're adding protein, you might want to be aware of how much you add if you're on a weight loss regimen or something like that because um, it might cause you to kind of gain a little bit. Um, or you could, you know, think about using it as a meal replacement. So I um, have been working out, like, last week I worked out, like, maybe four, four days out of seven. Or, you know, and then one day I just didn't go to the gym, but I still had a different kind of workout. Um, but you can kind of use it like I had the shake this morning. I didn't have breakfast, but I took the shake. Uh, or that you know that I made or a smoothie that I made instead of you know having food so if you want to do it that way if you feel like it's causing you to gain weight too rapidly try using it as a meal replacement and with the protein hopefully it'll help you to stay fuller um, a little longer you know and kind of feel like you have something in your stomach and also support your hair because your hair is made up with protein as well um, probably along with some other things so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'll take this down, let you see. It'd be kind of hard to gauge how long these, this hair is because, yeah, you can see that. What I did for this style was just did an upgrade, brought it around, and you just kind of twist that and tuck it in. But these braids that I made, I kept them pretty long. Um... And when you braid it overnight, and you take it loose the first time, it gives it kind of a wavy effect, which is cute while it lasts. <laughs> but, um, these are the braids that I've been wearing, and I've had these in for a, for a little bit now. Uh oh, it's been probably like two and a half, three weeks. Um, more or less, I'm not exactly sure where they have put them in, but it's giving my hair time to grow, and I'm taking my vitamins here and there, and using the herbal oil that I showed you earlier, spraying it with water. Sometimes um, the oil, if you get it in the hair, it gets kind of rancid, and you need to uh, wash the braids. Um, if you wash your hair, it would be advisable to be aware of what kind of shampoo you're using um, because it's going to be harder to to rinse it out with having braids in because things get in between you know the locks of the braids so just be aware of that and be careful about what you're putting in here make sure you can take care of it well but I'll try to move this a little bit as you can see it's quite long these braids go down to like to my waist. And so, like, I don't usually do them this long when I do them, but this time I did. And, um, hopefully one day I'll be getting on showing you a video of how long my hair has grown. Or maybe a few pictures of Facebook or something. I don't know. But, <laughs> well, they're not easy pictures. I hope that, um, I'll be able to reach such a length in my own hair. Which I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So if he wants me to, then I definitely go. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you were wondering who did my braids, I did them. Um, I do do hair as well. I did um, a lady at my church's hair not too long ago, and I braided her hair up until I can updo a little bun. And so um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And thank you to all of my subscribers who have subscribed so far. And if you have not, please do. And please rate and leave your good comments. Thank you and talk to you later. God bless you.